Well, it's another day in paradise. Don't know if you can see on the window, but it's absolutely caning it down again. So I've made um bed panel, I'm not sure what you call them to be honest. I was gonna buy one, but again I'm a tight ass so I thought I'll make my own. So that's what I've come up with. <coughs> and I've got a little tambour door in there which I've just put in now. Managed to get some frames around the windows. Same on that side. There is a light on it, but I haven't got it on yet. Um, what else have I done? Got one on there as well, somewhere if I can find it. Oh, oh. There. there are, that's about where I am at the minute. Well then, another little update for you. My wife's been in, got the shelves up, made a seat. I think I'm going to put a little wardrobe there, but I'm not sure yet. Once the day's later sorted, I'll uh, decide. Um, it's just the back of the tumble door. Um, got my lights uh, going. Oh, not that one. I want yeah. oh, I've got lights there. Same on that side. And another one there. So we're getting there slowly. Need to do something with the above cab area I haven't quite decided yet but I need to get the B pillar posts covered because there's wires and various bits and bobs hanging out of there so get some put a bit of flooring down in the back bit here as well a couple of weights just to hold it down for now um, but yeah we'll see what tomorrow brings Right, I'm just putting the bed in at the minute. Um, oh. That's half of it anyway. Wife's been in. Cushions and all that carry on. <laughs> Little spice rack thing. I'm just uh, messing about in here at the minute. Um, we've got somewhere to sit. Got half a bed in. Kitchen's in. There's no tap. There's no uh, water or anything plumbed in yet. So I've got that to do. Um, oh, that's better. Uh, yeah, so that's where I am at the minute. Um, doesn't look too bad. I need to fill that gap in, so um, I think I'm going to make some kind of uh, possibly a little wardrobe or something like that just to uh, some bits and bobs in and probably keep the eco flowing and some other stuff so it's got easy access but um, I'll do that tomorrow I don't know if you can see that in the garage but it's there on the floor in progress right back soon Right, I'm going to try and get these cables down for the solar. Um, I don't know if you can see that. I've got a little got a, got a scan strut for the ceiling, for the roof even. So I'll try and get that on 
I've drilled the hole, I'm just waiting on the paint to dry where it was bare metal, so these two bad boys are getting plugged into the solar and then it'll kind of come down there and into where the uh, solar MPPT is, so I'll go and do something else while the paint dries and then I'll jump back in once I'm on the roof. So, I don't know if you can see that, hang on. I've drilled a hole through the roof for the solar and I am just marking up where the self toppers are going to go through the roof to hold the scan strut down. So, just like that. Right, I'll get my drill, I'll be back in a sec. So, I don't know if other people do this, but what I do is get a magnet and I just pop it next to where I'm going to drill and 9 times out of 10, if it's just little holes like this it'll catch the swarf, that's the theory anyway Let's try it Right, I'll get this cleaned up and I'll go and get the cables. It's a bit of a faff on your own, but needs must. Hello. For some strange reason you don't get any screw out so self tappers that I had lying around. I'm not used to these manual screwdrivers. Two more. Right, that's that screwed down, so I just need to get these grommety things in there and put the lid on. I might put a little bit of uh, sicker flex around there just to, to make sure I like, but uh, we'll see. Right, so that's that. You can see me through there jungle. Um, that's that um, buttoned up, done. So it's just a case of uh, connecting up downstairs now but I'll have to wait till uh, I get all the panels in and stuff. But uh, I'll be back. Right, I've got this solar on, everything's wired up, cables are in, right down to the where the panel's going. So once that's in, Everything's good to go. Um, don't know if anybody's actually seen the van, but there's the van. 
Windows are in. Wheels are on. Big mud flaps. Dock sticker standard. I'll take it in this way for a little look. Would help if we opened it. Hang on. There's the keys. You'll find the keys when you want them. There we are. You can see the wife's been in. And she's put a few bits and bobs in. Lights on. No one because the vehicle floor is not on. Box. Right. Um, yeah, I've got a little socket on there. Still got that water pump to go in underneath. I still need to get a tap, um, a black one with an extendable uh, hose on. Um, yeah, I've got a little cupboard thing going down here. That I'm just in the middle of making spice racks. Nice. And I don't know if anybody's seen it, but I've got CCTV as well, which is very handy. I might remove that from the uh, starter battery and put it on the leisure battery just so it'll run as long as I want it to run rather than draining my battery. I think I've got it timed at the minute for, I think it's 30 minutes, but any longer, it just drains the battery. I mean, it's alright when you're driving, but not when you're sitting doing nothing. So, anyway, back soon.